Good morning. And this week, I am very excited to get this pool filled with water. I have a few jobs left to do, and you will be seeing that throughout this video. I would like to thank Aura, an all in one app for mindfulness, well being, and sleep, for sponsoring this week's video. Thank you, Aura. I have just potted up my geranium. And for those of you who have followed me for a while will maybe remember, I took a cutting of this beautiful geranium in Setubal along the banks of the estuary there. And this is a cutting from that cutting. So I grew it at my other house in Luria and because I planted it in the ground, I obviously left it there, but I took a cutting and it never actually flowered, but the cutting of the cutting has flowered and it is, it is a really beautiful color. When it comes out in full, I will show you. So my first plant is potted. I am gonna get some nicer pots than just this terracotta, these terracotta ones. I would like some really nice pots, but it was just, I needed to repot it because it was pot bound. So it's got a bit more space to grow at the moment. And then I'm gonna get some really nice pots for this courtyard area. And over at the pool area, I have fitted the pump. So this is just a normal swimming pool pump that I'm using. And what has been done here is there is this connector which is going on the pipe that's coming out of the storage tank originally. I need to put a clip around this just to hold it. It is pretty secure, but I will put another clip there. And then this was the pipe that came with the pump. So that's joined onto this piece of pipe. And then that's going into the pump. And then I bought an extra hose for a swimming pool because of the other pipe, that this pipe here, wasn't long enough to go from the pump all the way into the pool. So now I have got a nice long length of um, tubing, <laughs> tubing there. So my next job, oh, you will also have noticed I have put some concrete blocks in the pool area here and this is going to be seating and I've just I've left it there at the far end at the moment but it can be rearranged and once I decide really where I want it to be permanently maybe I can cement it but I have bought a covering to put on it to make it comfortable to sit on. Now the other thing I want to do is this horrible well, it's not horrible, it's actually a lovely little pond area here. <laughs> so obviously the water used to come from the storage tank into this holding bay here. So I'm now going to clear this water out of here and clean all this out so it's clean and nice because this is breeding ground for mosquitoes, which isn't good near to the pool area. So I am going to do that job. Ugh, it stinks disgusting. I hate to think what I'm going to find in the bottom of here because strangely, when I first looked in this water, it had, there was a dead fish floating in it. Why there was a fish in it, maybe they, but it was, it was interesting because it wasn't, I mean, it was dead, but it was preserved. So it couldn't have been so long ago that they had fish in here. I mean, actually, it would be quite nice to put some goldfish <laughs> in here. Some goldfish, I don't know. Maybe some, maybe not fish, maybe some water lilies. I was actually thinking of putting water lilies in the pond, in the pool, like a, like a floating island kind of thing, <laughs> or maybe fixed at one end. 
Um, all right, so I'm getting to the bottom of it and this is the muck that's coming out and you can see here there's some like larvae probably of mosquitoes in there. It's quite deep actually, you can see there. Okay, so it's all a bit mucky and horrible now. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Gross. It's smelling really bad too. There is a like a dip in the middle at the bottom which I have seen before um, on my tank on the, the similar thing in the my old house. going to try and get as much of this dirty water out of here and then the dirt the muck out and then I will wash it all out with fresh water. Okay so I think that's probably good enough. So this really is not a pleasant job. Shoveling beep <laughs> comes to mind. Oh. Okay, so I've cleaned that out like this at the moment. And what I'm going to do now is I want to rewash the walls again and just clean th these bricks that are in the pool, just clean all this area up, sweep in here. And yeah, so then it's kind of all ready to put in the water. Exciting. The pool is going to mean so much more to me than just cooling off in it. It's really going to be important for my well-being during the summer months. Well, now, July and August. And because the temperatures here will be going up to about 45 degrees. And during that time, it's going to be... It's, it is very, very hot. And you cannot work outside in the sun. Well, I cannot work outside in the sun in those temperatures. So really, after like 10 in the morning, then it is a matter of, you know, even if you're outside and in the shade, it's still really, really hot. And so what I've been doing recently is I've been working early in the mornings and then going into the house and being in the house for most of the rest of the day until it cools down in the evening again. And for me, this is not good for my well-being, my mental well-being, because if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I am a girl to be like outside in nature, just outside. And so this pool is going to be a game changer for me. So it's going to allow me to be able to be outside and be cool. <laughs> One of the questions that I get asked a lot is how do I manage my well-being? And the first thing I want to say is that I am so grateful for the life that I have created for myself here and not one morning goes by that I don't wake up full of gratitude for it. However, creating your dream life, especially when you're on your own, does have its challenges. You need to stay dedicated to your goal, motivated and inspired to continue 
each and every day. And this is where the Aura app has really helped me. Each morning, I receive a personalised daily recommendation based on my selections. It can be a meditation, a story, healing music, a prayer, affirmations, whatever resonates best with you. For me, it's been the practice of gratitude for the life that I'm creating here and for motivation to start my day from a really positive and joyful place. One of my favourite series is Personal Power, Inspiration and Motivation by June B. She is just one of hundreds of coaches, therapists and storytellers, so you are sure to find one that you like and best fits your needs. So the reason I chose Aura over other apps is because it's not a one size fit all app. It has so much variety and personalization. And one of the things I really like about it is that you can set how much time you want to spend on the app and then you receive recommendations based on that amount of time. So the Aura app is really the only one that has resonated with me and has worked well to improve my mental well-being. And it also gives me the boost that I need to start my day well. Aura has over 45,000 five-star reviews and is a Best of Apple Award winner. So you can get started for free using my personal link www.aurahealth.io slash dreamlifeportugal. Aura are offering the first 500 people a free trial and an exclusive 25% off. Okay, so as you can see, I am making a seating area here and I have bought this from the Chinese shop and it's for covering, uh, it's like a tablecloth for covering a table, but it's really pretty and the blue colour for the pool look nice. So my idea is to cover these blocks with this somehow. So I'm just going to work out what the best way, how the best way to do it is. I think probably to cut it into three strips and just wrap it round and underneath the blocks. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm thinking down to the bottom of the floor and under the stone at the bottom. So maybe if I cut it there. There's enough to wrap round. It was the same block. Oh, heavy.
I think that is as good as I'm going to get it. I think really to do the job properly, I should glue it onto the onto the concrete slabs. But those those well those blocks are really heavy. Um, yeah, so I really need someone else to help me. <laughs> but for now, it's good. We'll see how it goes. I think, and it's very comfortable. Looks nice too, huh? But obviously it's going to be underwater, but even so, looks nice. So I have started to fill the pool and we'll see how long it's going to take. I'm going to put a time-lapse video on and yep, let's wait and see. go doesn't it look lovely and inviting although at the moment it's going to be very cold so I'm just going to leave it for a while not sure how long actually uh, for it to warm up and then I shall give it a go okay it's time to get into the pool I was trying to wait until it had warmed up a bit more today. Oh, okay, it's nice. So, welcome to the pool. And uh, I bought this fishing net actually to uh, take all the insects and stuff off the top. Um, bit of a wind going on today so it's a bit uh yeah it's not quite as warm in here uh yeah as I was kind of anticipating I need to let it warm up a little bit more I feel I'm being a girl. Should just go one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, and <laughs> sit. Ah, sit, sit. Ah. <laughs> okay, re hello, Shaw. Relax, relax, relax. Oh my gosh, it's well. It's certainly going to be cool. That's for sure. And oh, there's some wasp things hanging around here. <laughs> So yeah, it is, oh, it is nice actually, it is really nice and I need to show you the view that I have got. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So this is my view. And the hills are just over there and Monsanto is just over there and of course blocking my view is the old bathroom so that is another reason why it has to go 
but uh, yeah, at the moment, as you saw, I'm storing things in it. While I'm here in the pool area, I am just going to talk about some comments that were made in my last video. So the walls around the pool area, yes, they do all need to be repointed, but now is not the time to do, do it. It's too hot to repoint outside. So that job is going to have to wait until after the summer has finished or even springtime of next year. It just depends what else uh, I prioritize. So yeah, these walls will be done. And also the tiles up here on the top, along the top here, they're not really a problem. Let me turn the camera around to explain. So the tiles up here, they are actually all sloping down the other way, not into the pool area. So if anything's going to fall from them, it's going to fall down behind this wall. I did just take off some off the end up here because when I was fixing the sail up, but all the rest, um, yeah, if they do, like I do say, if they do fall, but um, from there, they are not going to be falling in the pool area, but I will be taking them off, but it is going to be quite a big job to take them all off of there. And yeah, as you can see all along there. So that job is going to be prioritized at some point. So I want to just say another huge thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. And please do click the link below to check out the app. 